Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So, yet again, I'm going to be bringing you an unboxing and of course a little bit later on a review on a CPU heatsink. Today it will be for the Rajan Tech Tysis dual tower heatsink. So it's got two fans, pretty wide. So anyway, let's get to an unboxing and see what's inside. Alright guys, so here it is. Again, the Rajan Tech Tysis. Weird little logo here. T-I-S-I-S. -I -S. Until I knew how to spell it, I didn't know what that said. And then it kind of makes some sense when you know how to spell it. So, let me go ahead and just open this up first. Alright. So, I did get a knife finally. <laughs> I was going to spend three years trying to take that up. First off, they got a nice fan. This looks like 140 millimeters. Pretty cool. Set to the side. Alright. And, like I've mentioned before, it does bring all these tools. I'm not really going to talk too much about these, these bits for the unboxing. I'll leave that for the actual review, but so you know they're here. And then. Another one, this one has the thermal paste, back plate, and all the other good stuff here. And then it has this, it looks like an Allen wrench, but it actually has a Phillips head. That's kind of cool, huh? Impressed. So, put that aside. The instruction manual, take this out of here. And they have the big old, wow, that's huge, the big old heat sink and this padding for the bottom of the box and so that you can see there is nothing else at the bottom, all right? So this bad boy here, um, again, is so that you can fit two fans, one fan right here in the middle. So that you can see it is separated, has a big split right down the middle, you can see right there, and you put one fan in here, and then the other fan up here in the front, so there you go, dual fan design, pretty nice, it is 100% nickel, and then down here, Usually you would see in some, maybe not all, kind of these heat pipes coming into here, kind of a, uh, a direct CPU contact. They don't have that here. I don't know if that'll be better or worse. I've seen some, not from Rajan Tech, from another company, that the actual splits where they had the copper actually were pretty deep. And the fact that you can get thermal paste in there and it was such a big hole, the actual heating itself didn't cool very well so they did a bad job on the last one I reviewed they did a great job it was perfectly smooth this one is perfectly smooth so we'll see how that uh, comes into play these fans going back to the fans go will go anywhere from 600 to 1000 RPMs of course you know plugged into a PWM and this is four pin here and this is also sheathed so pretty nice so that 1000 rpm will generate up to 23 dba so it's actually pretty quiet and will generate up to 70.2 cfm that's actually pretty nice airflow and so then you can see up here the heat pipes that come down of course down here and this guy will work with Intel and AMD processors for Intel it goes from LGA 775 1150 1155 1366 2011 and then of course in, the, in between that core i3 i5 and i7 
And then for AMD, it'll go for FM2+, FM2, FM1, AM3+, AM3, AM2+, and of course AM2. These fans, sorry, going back to the fans, they're rated for a 50,000 hour lifespan, which is pretty decent. And well, that's about it for right now. I will, uh, of course, have a full review coming very soon. But of course, this is a just an unboxing. On top, inside of that review, I will also have another video showing you guys how to install this onto your computer. Some of you may not buy it because you're a little intimidated, you know. All these extra little bits, I don't blame you. It is a little intimidating, but I'll show you how to do that, you know, help you feel a little bit more comfortable, and then that way you can install one of these bad boys too. All right, well, this is Iggy again with Dragon Blogger doing an unboxing for you of the Rajentech Tysis Dual Tower Heatsink. All right, guys, see you.